Sometimes a one-word title can say a lot about a game. In the case of Elemental, the name helps to convey the simple theme and gimmick. It hints at a game not governed by bullets and explosions, but rather the beauty and wonder of nature. Unfortunately, the unorthodox spelling suggests that this peaceful platformer has been invaded by the worst elements of popular culture. The result is a clever puzzle game that is marred by clumsy attempts to be hip. You play a blob, with the unique ability to change into different elements. Our hero starts out as a floating bubble, able to use the wind to traverse large areas. It won't take long to be introduced to three other shapes, which includes turning into a rock, leaping forward as a ball of fire, and sliding across the smooth landscape as a chunk of ice. In true puzzle game fashion, it's up to the player to figure out how to use each of these shapes to overcome difficult obstacles. It's not as simple as one shape at a time, because most puzzles will require players to quickly switch from one element to the next. Our hero will often need to float in the air as a bubble, turn into a rock to gain speed, and then slide across the surface as an ice block, all in one perfectly timed motion. It's almost magical when it all comes together, but can be incredibly frustrating when your timing is off. What you may not realize from watching the footage or looking at screenshots is that players have only limited control over the shape-shifting blob. You aren't able to walk left to right like a typical platformer, so instead we're forced to use elemental skills to gain momentum. The fireball does a good job of propelling the character forward, but you'll quickly realize that it only goes in one direction. The good news is that elemental is rich with checkpoints, so you'll never get into a situation that can't be fixed by pushing select. To help punctuate how limited the control is, Elemental only uses the PS Vita's four face buttons. The game is spread out across several different areas, each with their own unique look and color palette. Even at its most colorful, Elemental is a moody game full of shadowy areas. It has a distinctive style that immediately sucked me in. Between the grainy filter and oversaturated lighting effects, I'm a big fan of the art design. Had I Illusion stopped there, I would have been singing the praises of this brief but effective puzzle platformer. But as I alluded to at the start of this review, they bowed to the pressure of being hip. The story is told in a series of short messages written for the player. The game breaks the fourth wall, which seems like a cool idea at the start. Sadly, the story spends far too much time name-dropping celebrities and pop culture references. While it never impacts the gameplay, the stab at humor took me out of the experience. There are also some inconsistencies scattered throughout the game. Early on, we're taught that our shape-shifting hero can bounce off of fire when he's a ball of flames. However, that rule is thrown out the window immediately after it's established. It turns out there's a difference between fire and lava, but the game doesn't note the difference at the time. And this is the kind of thing you'll learn from experience. It left me questioning what I had been taught in the tutorial mode. Once you get beyond the few minor issues, Elemental becomes an original and effective puzzle game. Don't be fooled by the simple mechanics and sparse design. This is a compelling platformer that feels at home on the PS Vita. Hey, thanks for watching this review. In case you haven't noticed, we didn't get many reviews up this week. As it turns out, this was a slow week for games, and I had already posted my review of Bastion. But don't worry, we'll be back next week with a bunch of reviews, including Infinity Runner, Bloxic, and We Are Doomed. Two of those reviews are going live on Tuesday when the embargo lifts. In the meantime, you should subscribe to this channel and let me know what you think of games that replace letters with numbers.